Show me the edge of that. I'm trying to hit them all at once. Out on the top is what you're hoping for? That's what we're hoping for, yeah. Those things aren't that light, if I remember correctly. No, they're not that light. and stuff and support it for you until we get into the car. But I can't see what's going on. What do you need there to do? Honey. Sorry, you took me to the edge of the flares. Okay, I got it. You got it? Yep. You sure? I got it. There you Look go. Me. Look at me. Man, you just mount them right here. <sighs> All right. Another project today, we're working on the lean-to build on the Connex. We just took down our solar panels. We just have two solar panels. I think they're like 295 watts each. And we have four batteries in the house and we have a 2000 watt inverter and a little charge controller. Simple solar setup. But the reason we took those off is the lean-to roof is gonna come all the way to the edge of the Connex. And where I had mounted them two, almost three years ago, is in the way. So we're gonna take that post off or that piece of pipe and we're gonna be mounting these on the front of the Connex. That pipe is just meant for like chain link fence and it's held up pretty good over the years, but uh, it is bent a tiny bit. So we bought a piece of like heavy duty steel tubing and we're gonna be welding it on the front of the Connex. We're gonna pull that one off real quick. Okay, watch your head, watch out for that pole because it might come down. So we chose that spot on the Connex to put the solar panels because it was an easy spot to just put some U-bolts through there. It's not really good to drill holes in a Connex just because you kind of compromise it. But that's how we had it mounted. It worked pretty good. We're gonna grab our other piece of steel and which is a lot thicker than this, like three times as thick. And we're actually gonna be welding that one on the front. Couldn't find a good spot to just reuse these. So it's gonna be permanent. We're gonna weld her on. It's a huge difference. This one is just super light. This one, we got a, we're a foot longer. That's eight feet. This one's gonna be nine feet. And it's so heavy. It fell on my ankle the other day too, and it really hurt. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see if we can get this up there. Uh, kind of sucks, but I think we're gonna have to grind some of the paint off the Connex before we put this on. Okay, this thing's welding now. I had to switch over to our bigger generator, our little 2000 watt. When I had this uh, little welder cranked on high, I overloaded it. So I keep working my way up. It's gonna be solid. Looking forward to this.
Okay. She's not the prettiest, but she's on there. She'll hold. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to eventually go down and take a chip or a piece of that paint and see if we can get like a spray can mixed up because that's just bare metal, uh, the pipe and where we ground it down. But yeah, it's time to put our solar panels back up. Harvest some sun today. Grab it and swing around. Do I even want it? That'll hold the panels. <laughs> You're not gonna let it go, are you? No, you gotta go out further. Like back up on the first. I know, I know, I know. I'm just gonna put extras on here because might as well, right? Ooh, got I'm one. sorry, I don't know why. Okay, ready? Hold my breath that whole time. Fire the sign. Oh, that doesn't look close at all. Where's the bubble? Right there. I think the back's gonna go up like. Yeah, it's because we didn't sink those posts in the ground that much. Oh, so close. to go. To the other side. So before we can start on the actual structure that we're building, the little carports over the connex, we need to make sure that the connex is completely level. And we knew going into it that the back end of the connex was just a couple inches lower than the front. So we're using this little bottle jack. This is a 12 ton jack. So it has no problem uh, lifting this connex. These things are awesome. So we got that side done. I put about three inches of blocks under that side. And then we're gonna do this side and see where we're at. We're probably gonna have to make multiple adjustments to this thing. I get one in. I'm gonna have to lower it down. Oh my gosh. Dug this jack into the ground like a foot. Okay, we're there. We're trying to get as much done today as we can. We got kind of a late start and there's a storm coming in, but I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab our four by six beams and we're gonna bring them up to the top of the connex, take some measurements, and hopefully get them cut to the lengths we need and we're gonna bolt them to the top of the conics. Once you go back, you can't do it again, you know what I mean? Hey! Smack, him. Smack you around with this bow. Get out of the way.
Did you want me to put this one up in a certain fashion for you? I'll, so I'll get it. Where are you? Adjust it. Right there. You okay? Yeah, I'll make sure. Well, I'll get that one first because it's kind of lean. Okay, I got it. Well, we got the four by sixes up on top of the Connex. That's kind of where they're going to go. Um, we're going to lay the rafters on top of that and we're having some issues. Uh, the top of the Connex well, has a small area that's flat, about two inches. And then it has like some ridges that run along the top of the Connex. And we're trying to figure out a way to get that beam to sit flat up there and to be sturdy. First, we're thinking some wooden spacers or run another beam crosswise, but I don't think that's going to work. And the thing about these Connexes is they're only really strong on the corners. So the four corners, the center and things like that, they're not very strong at all. So the plan is we're gonna go down to town tomorrow and we're gonna buy some metal. I think we're gonna get like some two by six metal and I'm gonna weld a couple spacers up on top of that. And I'm thinking it's gonna be really sturdy. And then we're gonna bolt it into the Connex, but we can't work anymore today. Okay, we got our metal and it was expensive. So we're gonna see if we can make it work. Uh, we're gonna cut the pieces, uh, hopefully the height we need them. And I think we're gonna have to do eight pieces that we're gonna have to weld to the top of this thing. And we're moving along. We'll see what we can get done today. So what I'm going to have to do is make two one and a quarter inch spacers, at least. Everything's going pretty good. Those little, those little spacers, they worked great for us. We got some primer on them. Um, we gotta wait till we get our spray can of paint that matches this and then we can paint them. But we're gonna drill some holes through these beams and we're gonna use these big bolts and we're gonna bolt them to the Connex. We'll put a little silicone in there and 
That'll stop anything from leaking, but we're gonna do eight of these. So we're gonna really secure these things to the Connex. Well, it's looking pretty cool. It's kind of the first look we've had at it and it's gonna be big and it's gonna be tall. But uh, we got the string up here and that basically told us our roof angles. We got them exactly the same. We're gonna head over to that side. We're gonna take this string, we're gonna run it all the way down the post on the 40 foot side and we're gonna mark it and we're gonna cut the tops off those beams and then we're gonna put our six by six beams on top of that and then we'll come over and do the same thing on this side. serious beams. Was heavy too. What's going on with this? They're heavy. I think they're all just heavy. I can hold the side, honey, if you get that one up. Okay, I lied. Oh gosh. You're gonna hit over here, so I don't know if you wanna go back your way a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more? There you go, there you go. Can you get the other side? There you go. <sighs> I was gonna say you could go over it. This works too. 
Can I get up on the ladder? Um, Here, what if I use the ladder as more of a support? Sure. How do I get up on the ladder? You got it? Yep. You on yours? Um, no, 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 you're gonna push me off. Okay. We finally got all our beams bolted down to our posts. We unfortunately made a few mathematical errors and realized that a few hours earlier. Had to correct that. It was a little bit of a pain. We had to pull our posts out and do a little bit of adjustments. Everything with this project is custom, so Eric's having to cut each piece custom. And if we make an error, then that's no good because we do not have extra wood for this. So we've got it all corrected. It looks awesome. I mean, it's turning out absolutely great. We're gonna be adding in an additional post back here we kind of didn't think about that. Eric was thinking maybe he wanted to leave it open, but I think we came to the conclusion we want to close this all off in the future with siding. So we've got to add a post behind me. We've got to burn the end, peel a log. We didn't plan for it. We're going to see how far we get tonight. And tomorrow we're hopefully going to be picking up with getting the roofing on this carport. before we do it. Okay, taking a little break. I got a good night rest last night and we're back at it again today. We just got all of the two by eights cut to 12 feet. When we milled them on the mill, I cut them in about 13 feet so we'd have a little extra. We got 32 of them. We have just some beautiful wood. We have all different colors. We've got like reddish orange. We've got real nice white. We've got some with some blueing. We've got like some crazy swirls on those ones over there. This is all the same type of tree. It's white spruce. These are all beetle kill trees so they were already dead when we cut them down so the next step is going to be doing some measurements we're going to get on top of the connex and then on the post and we're going to start marking where we're going to be putting these and we're going to be putting these every two feet
thing? Yeah, it's just orange thing. I didn't account for like the six hours of putting these things in. In scaffold. What's it called? Scaffolding? Scaffolding. Or is it Novelteen? <laughs> Alaskan scaffolding. So um, extreme looking when it's done, huh? It's, it, honestly, every time we do it, it makes me not want to cover it up. Like, leave it like a big open pergola. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Screwed, please. Oh, my hip's gonna get out on this project, I'm pretty sure, if I'm crouching like this. Okay. Could you pull that a little closer for me? And I can hand you this stuff. Like that? Sure, that'll work. Well, it's raining, but we got the roof up. We got the two by eights up. Um, we used the little ties for that, and then I'm going along with these three and a half inch nails and getting them real secured. But unfortunately, uh, it started to rain. And the rain's picking up, and it's supposed to start dumping here pretty soon. We got to get all our tools cleaned up, and it's going to rain for like the next three days. So this is the end of the project until we get some better weather. Can I ask you a question?